Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Kishore Hari. I'm the director of the Bay Area Science Festival. And welcome to the historic Castro Theater, the best theater in all of San Francisco. And we want to keep it here, so please support the concessions tonight and just say thank you to everyone that makes this an amazing place to host science events. Because I have to have a conversation every year that's like, hey, that Saturday right before Halloween in the Castro, let's have a giant event for nerds. <laughs> and they still say yes. So just a quick couple notes of thanks before we get started tonight. Uh, the Science Festival kicked off last night. Thank you to all of our sponsors, uh, especially UCSF, that allows me to do zany things like rent an island one year. And uh, all of your ushers tonight are scientists uh, at UCSF, so, uh, and they all volunteer in the San Francisco Unified School District. So please give all of those ushers and ticket takers a huge hand. It is my pleasure now to welcome to the stage the man that had a terrible idea about hosting a festival of bad hypotheses, turned it into a comic, and we demanded it to turn it into a real event. And here we are four years later. Please welcome to the stage, Zach Wienersmith. Hey. Um. Wiener Smith, sir. Um, hey, how's it going? Uh, <laughs> my name's Zach. I draw a comic called Saturday Morning Breakfast Cereal. Um, and uh, can I do a slide? Can you? Uh, yeah, I wrote a book with my wife called Sooner. Um, uh, we we just found out actually yesterday we made the New York Times bestseller list, so we're, we're pretty excited. And uh, we, we actually got uh, spot number 10 on the list, which is really cool, because if, if you're in the top 10, 10 is the biggest number you can get. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so I just, while I've got a captive audience, there's a, there's a little story we had while writing this book um, that no one else is going to ask about, and none of you did, but I don't care. Uh, and uh, it goes like this. We were, we, so this is a book about technology. We were writing a chapter on how fusion power works or might work. And we're doing an explanation of what a tokamak is. Does uh, y'all know what a tokamak is? <laughs> Woo, tokamak. Um, tokamak, if you visualize like a toroidal metal thing and plasma gets in it, you know what I mean. Um, <laughs> and uh, so, you know, in this book, we just tell stupid jokes. Uh, and one of the jokes we had explaining what a tokamak looks like is we said, it's like a Dunkin' Donut. Only instead of, or only it's filled with plasma instead of with uh, sawdust and tears, um, <laughs> and uh, so you know we left that in, and then later we got a deal with a Chinese publisher, so they were putting it in Chinese, and then we got an email saying we have a few jokes we don't quite understand. Could you clarify? <laughs> <laughs> and she wrote and she said, you know, what what is this about Dunkin' Donuts and sawdust, and, and what are you talking about? <laughs> and I felt really bad because I was like, well, I have to just say what the joke means. Um, so I wrote back and I said something like, it's a joke and what it means is when you go to Dunkin' Donuts, the food is bad and you feel sadness. Um, <laughs> which just felt really mean, you know? <laughs> So I, I, don't, I don't speak Chinese, I don't read Chinese, but if anyone happens to pick up a copy and does read Chinese, could you let me know if they just wrote it verbatim? Uh, 